This is a little feature I've added to adjust the way you actually control the speed of the way the control curve works with the joystick. So I put this little graph in here and that's linear at the moment. So down the bottom here this is 0 to 100% of the joystick movement in um, in one direction, in the, in the forward direction, basically your throttle. So you can see it's linear at the moment, so as you push all the way up to 100% you go all the way up to your max RPM which is uh, sitting at 2500 here as per this uh, speed block here. So what you can do is I've put two types of curves in here easy knees out and an exponential. So the easy knees out is the better curve. It gives you uh, fine control at both ends. So if you apply, if you change your response and hit apply, that's our new throttle curve now. So you can see you have fine adjustment in this bottom range at the slow speeds and also fine adjustment when you're going full throttle at these top speeds and there's just a bit of a jump in here as it's as it approaches a step change. If you change the max speed you'll notice now we can see the, the, the uh, throttle curve with relation to the max speed here has changed to 5000. Now you also have an exponential option so just changing to exponential and leaving the adjustment the same we can have really fine control at the bottom and basically it just becomes more crude as we get to the top. You can up this as much as you want and basically just see how much control you want. So this is a lot of low speed control and then the, the top 30% of the joystick is basically controlling 90% of your RPM there. And this is what it would look like in easy knees out. So it's pretty rough. It's getting close to a step change there. I'm f I found from experimentation that uh, two was the best, but this is what five would look like. So you can see you get quite a lot of low speed control. 35% of the joystick is moving only up to 250 RPM there. And then right at the top, you got the last 30% to control the last 250 RPM and the middle 30% is covering everything in between. So it's just a little feature that uh, is good for fiddling with anything you want. If you want anything linear you just leave the curve in any mode, exponential or easy out and set that to one and that'll give you a linear control.